So how was it for you, Nicola, to have an Indian student? For me, it's a fantastic uh, experience really, because uh, I, for me, this one is um, I, I work in the three Olympics games uh, before it, like uh, Italian coach. And uh, when uh, Bavani asked me uh, if uh, I, I want to support her for try to to qualify to Olympic Games, so for me it was uh, I, I was very excited because it is, uh, I know that if we we arrive to this qualification, it was uh, very important for Bavani, but for uh, your country, for all country. For we we work so hard, we work uh, with more uh, uh, energy. And for for arrive to this goal, and, uh, and it was a very fantastic uh, fantastic way for uh, for this period. Um, and Bavani helped me to 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 work uh, more than uh, last experience because she has uh, has a, her improvement was very very. Um, fantastic! She mm -hmm. wants to arrive. Uh, she she put all energy for arrive to this uh, Olympic qualification. And uh, when we we take uh, our goal in Budapest, we are very <laughs> very uh, very excited. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, Angelo, what about you? What is the role of psychology in the whole fencing uh, sport? It's very curious. Ah, okay. yeah. Yes, I, I am. I am a sport psychologist, uh, uh, and I um, I have been collaborating with Nicola Zorotti for more than ten years. Oh, uh, that's long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and when Nicola told me that an Indian athlete want to qualify for the Olympics, I immediately said, "This is a fantastic challenge," uh, and from. From that moment, I have uh, concentrated my energy in mm -hmm. this uh, <laughs> in this project. So I, I, I work for many years with Nicola, with fans, with the athletes of Nicola for several uh, um, Olympics games. So, but when I arrive in Bavani, <laughs> me and Nicola uh, concentrate <laughs> on, ba on, ba on Bavani. Yeah. For my 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 role, my, <coughs> my my role in this uh, is this project uh, is to f collaborate with with with, with Nicola so be because uh, I am strongly convinced that uh, apart from technical, tactical, and physical condition, the mental part uh, can make the difference. But uh, <coughs> technical, tactical, physical condition are. are uh, uh, strategic. As uh, as for the mental aspect, uh, uh, Nicola knows my point of view very well. So the, the result of an athlete uh, is the consequence of a system that works, made by an athlete, uh, uh, the coach, uh, an athletic trainer, uh, osteopath, uh, physiotherapist, and mental trainer. But I think first of all, the athlete and the coach. In, in fact, when I, uh, I listen to mental trainer who say I did win this uh, or that athlete uh, is something uh, I do not conceive. For me, it's uh, is important mental, uh, mental aspect, uh, but, but uh, in the case uh, of uh, Bavani, it's a fundamental uh, technical before to improve your uh, uh, technical and tactical uh, aspect. And then uh, we work uh, about mental aspect, yes. <laughs> As for the mental preparation uh, work done for Bavani, is the result uh, uh, on the one hand of, uh, of the continuous exchange of po point of view with Nicola Zanotti uh, on how to communicate with Bavani and on the other hand, helping uh, Bavani in becoming aware of how to read his uh, psychophysiological parameters first and during yes. your stuff. Yeah, okay. I saw that picture in which you are, you know, you you are technology to help her train mentally. Also, we'll be talking about that. Bavani has joined us. Uh, Bavani, could you please switch on your video? <clears throat> Uh, I, I, I understand. Yeah, I, 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 I,
it's all I'm right sorry, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> in fact you know bhavani when you when you said sorry on the twitter also i was thinking you shouldn't be saying sorry at all you made all of us so proud you know the you made history actually so if somebody who makes history should say sorry congratulations you. your achievement you so is much. absolutely tremendous my name is pragya yeah hi nice to meet you So your coaches are already here, and I am yes, so yes. grateful to the three of you for joining in. Uh, I'll just have a brief introduction, a formal kind of an introduction before we get into the uh, later part of this. All right. Yeah. Welcome to Ek Sambad at Aruni Mangkuran. Today's guest and her coaches are extremely special to this country. Uh, we have uh, the first Indian fencer to qualify for the Olympic Games, Bhavani Devi. her coach nicola and her mental trainer angelo thank you so much to all of you for joining us um aruni mankuran is an initiative for positive social change self development we believe that each person is unique and special in some way and we celebrate that difference uh, the milestones of bhavani's journey are amazing first indian woman to win a fencing gold at the commonwealth championship only indian to enter the top 50 of the world fencing rankings a uh, first indian fencer to win gold at the world cup event uh, you know there there are so many more actually i could only put these here so congratulations belated to the three of you for working together and doing this uh, inspiration for young india actually i have picked out a few things that people have said about you bhavani so listen in carefully uh, your coach at one point said bhavani is a very determined person this is the best quality which gets her to achieve her goals uh, angelo has said that you know dedication sets bhavani apart from other fencers uh, your close friend said every single decision she makes in her life is influenced by the larger picture and you know there is so much of uh, inspiration for young indians in your story so i think we'll start first with this picture which we can see bhavani tell us about this tell us what's going on on your terrace uh so yes before uh, before uh, all the competitions were postponed and i was in in a you know very like in a very difficult zone because i was almost qualified for olympics but still i will get that confirmation only after the last world cup which was postponed for after for one year later mm -hmm. so during that that whole year i was feeling very hard because i don't know if i know what will happen in the last world cup because i'm already i'm like 90% i'm qualified no one knew about that yes so and then i thought and then at the first few days i was very disappointed and very sad because they said all competitions are cancelled olympics will be cancelled you know uh, everyone was, a, was in a very difficult situation and i was so sad and then later i decided okay no matter what i will you know uh, if whenever they have a next season if even if it's not olympics even if they start the next season of tournaments i have to be ready so i need to prepare myself uh, you know physically and mentally so i i decided like okay whatever i have at home i will start preparing myself and uh, that's how i started this training and uh, i you know in fencing we 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 need opponent to you know to touch the opponent to to feel the uh, distance so i earlier when i was here we used to train with the wall we place the mask or the jacket on the wall and we used to practice like uh, as a imaginary opponent so mm -hmm. that's what i did because on my terrace i don't had a wall so i used my fencing bag and mask on top mm -hmm. of it so that just uh, feels like a dummy partner so i started training like that and my mom used to you know um, give a comment like uh, you know go for attack go for defense so oh. <laughs> it was fun but at the same time i was uh, training a little bit during that period and were your coaches also helping you while you were doing this yes yeah i read yes, sometimes my yeah. yeah yeah sometimes my coach nicola comes online so i used to keep my phone in front of the uh, you know near the bag and he says me the techniques and the movements and i used to do like that and also we do the group training because it's not just individual training we do group training with other players from other countries as well hmm. so that that gives a special uh, like positive feeling during that covid period you know we yes. we all are in this together so that group training also happened and uh, it was really fun also at the same time uh, I was uh, training a little bit. 
So Nicola, tell us about uh, how Bhavani's uh, journey has been, you know, in terms of how hard she works and what is the skill set that makes her special. Bhavani, I confirm what uh, I talked uh, before, that Bhavani, the best quality is her determination. And uh, for me, in, in start, when uh, she asked me to support her for try to, to qualify to Olympic Games, uh, I know that was uh, was difficult because uh, start uh, um, to the a new new a situation for me with the new athletes uh, is not is not simple. But after uh, less time, I understand that uh, it's really possible because uh, Bavani was really determined to uh, to arrive to take this uh, this goal. So for me, I I feel I I suffer all uh, her determination, all uh, uh, emotion. Uh, so we start to work uh, very hard, and uh, step by step we going up uh, about uh, all uh, all uh, uh, situation techniques, uh, tactics, uh, uh, mental with uh, the mental coach Angelo Carmola, uh, physical with every every we need to work about every. Uh, uh, situation so by uh, step by step uh, and uh, arrive uh, start to arrive uh, uh, some results that are uh, very important for us for uh, start to to believe uh, uh, that uh, is really possible and for uh, uh, have more confidence about our our training about our job uh, that uh, is important because results uh, even more confidence to to us and then about this uh, super sure this period uh, this uh, here that Bavani was at home uh, uh, was uh, difficult because how Bavani talk uh, we are very very linear our goal is very close we we start to touch with the hand but it's not our we don't take these uh, these rules but in this period too we we stay in contact for all times and uh, we work together. Two, two, three times per, per week online. And Bavani, we, I try to, to give some, we, to simulate some situation, fencing situation. And Bavani worked on the balcony and me, me at home. And uh, uh, it was difficult, but it was very important to stay in contact in this period too for uh, she understand that we, we are uh, close, we are near to, and we continue to support uh, and never miss this, uh, this goal. Is she a good learner? She picks up quickly what you're trying to train and teach her? What, uh, what, what I, I teach to, to Bavani? Yeah, I, the, the techniques, when Bavani starts, the basics are, uh, are good, okay? So for me, it was a bit more simple because the basics about techniques are good. Sure, she hasn't uh, experienced because she don't participate to all competition, sometimes come to competition uh, alone, without coach. So, yes, uh, she know how... <laughs> Uh, how we need to do for 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 go for fans for go to the competition, but uh, uh, I need to to work with it. the the technique was good, but it's more important to arrive to for stay for fans with the all with the best athletes in the world. We need to work more with about the techniques. And the first two years, uh, I explained to Bavani. The first two years are uh, important for. Uh, for uh, growing up about techniques and tactics. And then uh, after two, three years, it's possible to, to arrive to take uh, some results. And uh, so we, we have, we, we project, uh, we do a, a program for Bavani uh, uh, that we need to, to follow it. And then uh, we, sometimes we, we speak, uh, we have some confirmation of that um, is a, uh, is, uh, it's okay, okay. We start about 30% and then we arrive 40, 50, 60, and then we arrive at our maximum uh, uh, possibility. Wow. So uh, I think, you know, as a mental trainer, Angelo, you've had a big role because it's, you know, at that level, all the athletes have really trained hard. So it's, you know, the mental strength that makes that plays a big role. What are some of the things that you've been working with so that Bhavani is mentally also ready for Olympics? 
Okay. So, uh, so, so I, I think uh, the Bavani uh, is the most determined person I have ever met. <laughs> if she wants to arrive, she goes out of uh, of uh, his way to arrive. So, uh, if you if you think during the COVID, Bavani uh, the, during lockdown, mm -hmm. she uh, was very good because she managed to maintain an high level of confidence is not easy. Yes. It, it, it's a, uh, it is to arrive ready after the lockdown period for the COVID. It was not taining, uh, taken for granted. For me, Bavani has a unique uh, mental ability. <laughs> Example, after, mm -hmm. after qualifying for the Olympics in Budapest, while driving back to Italy, she said to us, but... Uh, Tomorrow we will train. Mm. <laughs> well, yes. You remember, Bunny? <laughs> yes. yes. And, and Nicola told oh, Bunny, you are crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so uh, I think it's very easy to work with, um, about the mental aspect with Bavani because your, your mind is very uh, focused and sometimes you need to balance your determination. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but uh, it's very easy to work with Bavani, more than uh, uh, other athletes, I think. <laughs> wow, that's a great compliment from a coach, Bavani, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. No, we, it was impossible. If that don't work uh, <laughs> with this uh, determination, uh, with this, this volunteer, was it really impossible to arrive in, in four, four years, three years and half? Because uh, uh, when we started to our qualification, only three, three years and half to arrive to to take these results without uh, any determination was really, sure impossible. Yeah. Also, I feel like, you know, it's important to have good relation with, with the trainers, especially in the senior level. You know, you, you experience a lot of things. So if you don't have good relation with your trainers and the supporting coach or mental coach or fitness trainer, you won't get the results. So for me, it was very easy to have the very uh, good relation easily because I, I started training with Nicola and immediately in two months, uh, I, I mean, we had a very good relation, which continued for, for forever, like uh, till the Olympic Games. And also with Angelo, when we, when I started, it was very easy to have a very good relation, very good connection. And sometimes we both, we all think in the same way. Hmm. So that actually helped us to, you know, to work well, to work uh, best for the Olympic Games. So there is another picture also on the screen, Bhavani. Uh, tell us about it. Where was this at, if you, if you remember, yeah. Yes, yes. So it was after the 2018 Commonwealth Championship at Australia. So before Commonwealth Championship, we were supposed to go for Asian Games, but unfortunately, uh, we couldn't go for Asian Games. So I had only one month for Commonwealth. So I was actually disappointed like for not going for Asian Games. But and then I, I'm like, no, in one month, I have Commonwealth Championship. I cannot keep thinking about Asian Games. I need to work. If it's not this time, maybe I'll go next time. But now I have one opportunity in front of me. I need to do well in that. So I started my training. And uh, uh, earlier I went, I was uh, in fifth position in Commonwealth Championship. So I never won medal in individual level in oh, senior. senior. So, yeah. So in this time, I really wanted to win the gold. So I, I went to competition. And we trained very well. Also, we, I couldn't take my coach and trainers with the competition because uh, I, d I didn't have funds then. And also, they, I think they had to go for other tournaments as well. So I went alone for this competition and I competed. And when I won, I was like, okay, finally, I won one gold medal, uh, you know, after one and a half years. Because before I won in satellite competition, but this Commonwealth is much more higher than that level. <laughs> so that is a very good result for me after, uh, you know, uh, not going for Asian Games. So when I came back, uh, my parents came to the airport so, and also many news media came to the airport. And it was uh, really a big uh, uh, welcome for me. You know, it was the first time after 44 years of fencing history in India, we won gold medal in individual. So, so that was a very good result for the entire fencing fraternity. 
so i am just uh, you know i always uh, thank all the people who have helped me to achieve all the good results for me and also for the entire nation so my parents were very happy and my father was actually sick also then he still decided to come to airport to see me and to welcome me so that was a uh, uh, you know a very emotional uh, moment for me yeah and uh, bhavani uh, you know angelo just said that you have a unique kind of a mindset and uh, you are very easy uh, when it comes to your psychological training it was not difficult for him so where does that strength come from i think it uh, comes from my mother because my mother is very strong very bold very courageous i have never seen any women in my life so far with mm-hmm. that kind of attitude in all aspects of life she always uh, motivates me even when i am down when i feel like you know why i am not getting results you know maybe i may not be able to qualify for olympics olympics maybe is a very big dream for me but my mother always more you no know, no you will go for olympic you are training hard just you know keep working hard believe in yourself learn from your mistakes so she i i sometimes i i'm like surprised to see that kind of uh, you know support from my mother because fencing was is not a popular sport and uh, uh, in india for a women to have a career in sport it's not very easy and i'm always surprised to receive that kind of support mental support from my mother so i think uh, uh, angelo's work becomes easy because half of the work is already done by my mother <laughs> so i think um, she is a she's uh, she's incredible i'm i'm really the one uh, you know lucky to have a mother like her i think only because of her i could you know able to uh, follow my dream and she is lucky to have a doctor like you too bhavani right <laughs> yes thank you so uh, you know your training what is what is a day in bhavani's uh, life like you know all you, see what i i want i want to understand this you know uh, we just look at you for that duration of competition we don't see what's going on behind right? all the years and hours of practice so talk to us about that all the three of you can share okay uh, so my training i'm uh, so i have morning and evening training sometimes mm-hmm. three sessions also like i wake up at 7 and then training from 9 to 11 sometimes 9 to 12 also i'll do physical uh, session also in the morning or uh, some other exercise like uh, yoga or uh, physiotherapy uh, something will be there so uh, three sessions will be there from monday to friday so afternoon bani ba- ba- right uh, Okay. So, uh, so Monday to Friday will be like this. So during uh, in between session, I just eat and rest. And during weekend, I will have only one session in Saturday, and the uh, rest of the days I will be resting at home, or I'll just go for a walk and to see some places nearby. Okay. Nikola, how challenging is the technical training? How how does that happen? Yeah, tell us. we impose to bavani to rest one day because she doesn't want to rest any day impose her, please bavani one day you need to rest please because yes you yes hard. because earlier you know earlier i always used to train a lot uh, too much every day monday to saturday or sunday also mm-hmm. but after coming back to italy uh, nicola told me like you know rest is also a training you you need to give importance to rest and at the beginning it was difficult for me to no stay at room without doing anything was very hard so later i understand the importance and then i i, I really gave importance to that and that helped me also for my performance yes so uh, what are some of the learnings from the olympic experience for the all for the three of you in terms of uh, you know how you played there uh to me or to baba yeah, you yeah, you can say all all oh, okay uh, No, it is a uh, no. I is very important for, for uh, mm. because uh, for um, uh, stay. Sometimes change fencing is very important to stay in a high level. Olympic Games is a, a dream for every every sport. If people that uh, love uh, sports, so is a it's is a dream. Uh, never uh, uh, every every Olympic Games is different than uh, the others. for me is the first but uh, is is different because this is this experience i'm sure that uh, will be very important for for my future too because um, 
the uh, last uh, the, my first three Olympic games, I worked for Italian national team, but uh, I was uh, all, only coach. Okay, only because uh, I need only two things to to train with my my students. This time uh, with uh, Bavani, we we need to organize all all. We need to organize all. Uh, we need to plan it uh, all all training all uh, camps. We need to to organize uh, every every day about these uh, five uh, years, and uh, because uh, we 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 don't have for for the Indian Federation uh, was uh, the first experience too. So I I have more experience. I need to 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 teach, not to teach, but to inform them uh, about how we need to organize, uh, what what is important, which uh, what we need to to have. Um, uh, to support, uh, uh, so it's very very important because it is a new experience for me, uh, more than uh, than before. And then uh, was a, a very big emotion to to meet uh, Bavani Madars in the Olympics. <laughs> yes, uh, I read about that. <laughs> uh, for, because uh, how Bavani explained before uh, was very is uh, very important to support uh, us. Uh, for arrive to this goal, and uh, I'm very, I'm very excited and very uh, happy when I meet uh, her because from uh, her face we understand uh, how I was very uh, proud about her uh, daughter, and uh, I'm very happy to to give this um, to help uh, India to know a new a new sport, okay, and uh, to to do the first step for the future. And uh, but I confirm that we are uh, we work uh, in, in uh, um, we are a staff. Not uh, it was impossible for me work alone with uh, don't uh, Angelo support me in about uh, mental uh, training yes. and um, without a very good uh, physical trainer that Bavani need to change. But uh, in uh, this uh, this way in this period. But uh, everyone who work with us uh, put all energy and uh, was a fantastic, uh, fantastic experience. Yeah. Angelo, what is the what is the one takeaway for you from we could see her body language and everything. She was so confident. And I just wonder, you know, is there an element of fear when the fences start off and you have to teach them how to deal with that? So I, I um... During the Olympics, uh, I learned that uh, many athletes may have worked on the mental aspect, but uh, you have to learn to mentally manage the 25 minutes before the competition. So uh, th this year, we have seen athletes who should have uh, won the medal and lost at the first assault. Uh, you, you could already in the warm up phase from their eyes for uh, from their uh, nonverbal communication. <laughs> uh, this is this is important. So to to le to um, lean to manage this uh, this moment. So and then I I learned a, a lot of about, about Indian culture because uh, in the first time when I started with um, with work with Bavani. I study uh, more books about Indian culture because I think it is important for understand some aspect uh, uh, that can uh, help us uh, to improve the communication with uh, with Bavani. It's not only mental aspect, but um, cultural aspect is fundamental when we work with the athletes from other continent. Yes. So, uh, Bhavani, is there something you want to say to the aspiring fencers in this country? I'm sure there are a lot of people who will want to walk in your footsteps. So, uh, I believe there is always one way to success, which is hard work. So, you just have to keep working hard, no matter whether you get positive result or negative result. But you just have to keep working hard and uh, one day you will reach where you want to be. And how does it feel to be an Olympian? It feels amazing because, uh, you know, when I have seen some other athletes, you know, when we call them, yeah, he's the Olympic athlete, he was Olympian, he went to that Olympics. So that that's all inspired us to be, you know, to become like them. So now I have become an Olympian 
so it feels great and also at the same time it gives you more responsibility and uh, uh, you have you have to you know work more hard to 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 go to next level so i'm just uh, uh, always i'm thankful to all the people uh, start with my family my coaches childhood coaches my current coaches nicola angelo my fitness trainers my sponsors uh, go sports foundation fencing association of india sports authority of india tamil nadu sports department and all the individuals because earlier i also tried for go fund me to to get funds for my competitions and training so i want to thank each one of them who have helped me during that time because that was more uh, important uh, in my career to you know to go to next level so mm-hmm. i want to thank all of them and i'm here only because of all of their blessings and support and i will need all your support for my future endeavors so uh, is there anything else you would like to say uh, nicola or angelo to the indian students who are learning how to fence ah oh. okay yeah no i i i suggest them to to follow to follow this uh, attitude this call to how bavani work and uh, that uh, is possible to realize a dream yes and uh, uh, the um, we, important is uh, to believe in uh, themselves and uh, put all the energy because uh, only if we, uh, they really really they, they want they they do all uh, is possible to to arrive uh, only in this way is possible to take uh, and realize uh, this dream to go to olympic games yeah. i hope angelo, any uh, parting any parting words from you angelo y- y- yes for, for me the for me today bavan uh, bavani has become a role model for all those little boys and girls who are professional uh, passionate about fencing Bavani with the, his experience uh, and his level of knowledge of fencing uh, can now change the way the way of approaching fencing uh, in, in India this is my idea uh-huh. so uh, since you only have 20 minutes for me uh, i'll <laughs> close this conversation <laughs> can we go on or is it time for you to do something else we can talk about so many other things bavani I definitely want to talk to you a lot of things but actually I really have to go now. Yeah, all right. I I appreciate that and thank you so much to all of you for thank joining. You, thank you so much. Thank and you. And it was thank a great you. pleasure and learning talking to all of you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. It was so yeah. nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao Nico. Ciao. Bye. Ciao Mari. Ciao Nick. Ciao. Ciao ciao. ciao.